gear seekers, I'm Nick. We're out here at Computex Taipei 2024, checking out what ROG has to offer. But before that, here's a word from our video sponsors. Funnily enough, it's ASUS and ROG. Take it away, Claire. Our Computex Taipei 2024 coverage is proudly brought to you by ASUS and ROG, the Republic of Gamers. Uncover the future of gaming and tech with their latest products. From handhelds to AI, from networking to graphics cards and everything in between, ASUS and ROG have got you covered. You can find links to their latest products in the video description. ASUS has a whole stack of new OLED monitors. One of the most interesting ones, I've got to say, is this new 27-inch model over here. I've got this one sitting at home ready to be reviewed. Now, the thing is, ASUS is pitching this as their Strix monitor, which means it's going to be a little bit more affordable. It's really hard for this to be translated to camera, but these monitors just look so freaking great, especially for me, who's the sweatiest COD player on Earth. 360 hertz out of a 1440p panel, pretty sweet. You know the strange thing about monitors, guys? The model numbers are all over the place. And for people like me who look at this all of the time, I always forget what they're called. It's like the ROG Strix, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Something that I think you guys might find a bit interesting with these monitors, especially if you're a super sweaty gamer like me, is a lot of these new monitors have a dual mode. What that means is at 4K, you're getting 240 hertz, but if you want to be super sweaty and you want the highest refresh rate ever in 1080p, this will do 480 hertz. So, you know, the only problem I have with this is it's a 32 inch panel and stuff at 1080p being 32 inch <laughs> looks ridiculously pixelated I suppose. For the regular person out there who wants to just have that flexibility, stuff like the ROG Swift OLED PG32 UCP DP PP PQRSD UV are going to be right up your alley because they have a lot of versatility. But they're also quite expensive, so there is that too. As we see more OLED monitors come out, the prices are gonna come down. Lower prices means more competition, and that means ASUS has to begin to drop their prices too. But yeah, let us know what you think of all of these new OLED panels in the comments down below. ROG is showing off a new concept, and this is not just an ROG thing. This is a new standard for memory that's coming out. It's called CAM2. It's kind of following the same concept as M.2 without the same connector. The funny thing with all of the CAM2 stuff that we're seeing at the moment is they're not really showing us how this interfaces with the motherboard. But what's more interesting is it takes up less surface space on the board itself. This is good because what this means is the memory can be mounted anywhere on the board. Well, at least in theory. Say for instance, you have an ITX board and you want it to be a little bit smaller or you wanted more connectivity on the surface of the board. Technically, you could have a CAM2 connector on the back of the motherboard, like what we see with the ITX boards and M.2 drives. This is going to be one of the most interesting things we're gonna see over the next few years, and I cannot wait to see more motherboards with CAM2 connectors. The only thing that kind of disappoints me with this board here at the ROG booth is, it's technically not a new board, and that's kind of the theme with the ROG booth this year. They're showing Z790 boards and not enough new AMD stuff, so, yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to check out the ASUS booth because I see that they've got a brand new X870 board over there. But that's for another video. Got my good mate Ross here from ASUS, him and I go way back. He's gonna show us what he likes the most here because he's a sweaty, nerdy gamer just like me. That's true, I play a lot of uh, Apex Legends and so I'm an FPS gamer and I'm really excited about our new Harp Ace Extreme. This is kind of like position, I think a little bit more like taking on the likes of uh, the really high-end gaming mice that we're seeing these days, something like Final Mouse. But we've actually got, instead of, uh, for any of you that got that issue with the, all the holes in the chassis, this one's like solid. It's made of a carbon fiber composite. It's oh. only 47 grams, uh, 42,000 DPI sensor and it comes with uh, Corning glass gorilla feet like in the box. So if you're one of those sweaty nerds that likes using the, you know, the glass mouse feet, I personally stick with the one that comes on it. But yeah, <laughs> so th this is probably my favorite thing. And it, cause it's using like real actual carbon fiber, every single mouse 
has like a different kind of um, like aesthetic to it. Like they're all unique, even if only slightly. Because I mean, to be fair, they do look very similar. I can't tell the I can't tell the difference yeah, if I'm being you, honest. You got to get real in there. But this is my favorite item that we're launching this year at Computex. Ross just started telling me about this headset that he finds interesting. The thing is, for me, I like to know what the people who work here like because you know some of them just like talk about the stuff that they have, but. What are you passionate about? Yeah, so uh, for those of you who know our headset lineup, we've got the new ROG Delta 2. So uh, this one is a you know, typical tri-mode connectivity, Bluetooth 2.4, 3.5 millimeter. But the thing that's interesting about this is it's got two volume controls. So the, okay. the showcase we've got here is, imagine you've got gameplay here and your girlfriend calls you, uh, the phone says Babe 2, because clearly the gaming PC is Babe 1. <laughs> um, and what we've got here, you can like just, stay in the game with your boys and turn the video game uh, volume all the way down and turn the call with your girlfriend up so you don't even have to take the headset off and just swap directly um, so it can connect with Bluetooth and 2.4 at the same time and as soon as you've uh, you know told the white lie that you're already on your way you can just swap the volumes back and hop right back into the rank game. That's pretty interesting I've seen other companies do it similarly but not with individual volume control. Yeah so oh. You, you can have, if, if you still like the ambiance of like, if you're playing a single player game and you want to imagine what it'd be like if your girlfriend was in like, you know, the, the beautiful landscape of whatever game you're playing, <laughs> you can kind of put them together. Or, you know, you can um, just, just make sure you don't mix up the comms and call like your mate babe, because you'll get roasted. I call my mate babe all the time. <laughs> don't I, Claire? <laughs> Let's go check out the ROG Ally X and we're just going to push everyone out of the way because it's about to be mayhem in here. I've already had a little bit of a play with this thing but it is looking a little bit more interesting. The main thing is it's still using the same Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor. It's got the same RAM configuration. It's basically the exact same handheld as it was last year. The main difference being is they've got a much bigger battery to expand the battery life and they've got a few things to kind of, uh, I won't say the naughty word but yes they want to address a lot of the issues they're having with people returning them let's just call it that as well as that they've given us a new two-year warranty for all of their ally devices where they're going to be covering any type of damage other than like water damage and you sitting on the screen and smashing it but the original ROG Ally for us was an interesting device. You guys had a lot to say about our coverage because you thought that we were trying to pit it directly up against the Steam Deck. There aren't many handhelds that are produced in this volume, so it's quite hard to have a good comparison other than something like the Steam Deck. What I would like to see Asus do is something that I've seen Gigabyte do and begin to embrace more Linux things. So if they could maybe start tinkering with their own SteamOS distro, Again, I'm going to say this ASUS and ROG, do your own Linux distro, this will be even better than the Steam Deck, but you know, only time will tell. The other thing with portable gaming and portable computing is, it's kind of an interesting segment because the performance is almost there for it to be a replacement for your desktop PC, but the reality is, with stuff like the ROG Ally X, people need to begin to temper their expectations when it comes to portable computing as well. But with all of these new Ryzen 300 processors that we saw announced the other day, with RDNA 3.5 graphics and all of the naughty two-letter words that I'm never mentioning in any of our Computex coverage, handheld devices like this may begin to get a little bit more interesting in the next few months. So. Make sure you stay tuned because we're going to do a lot more handheld content. I know we said this last year, but getting these things is really freaking hard. As well as that, handhelds are a difficult one, especially with the battery life. As I mentioned, Asus and ROG have said that they've doubled the battery life with their Ally X with an 80 watt hour battery. But again, only time will tell. Optimizations with drivers and the software and the BIOS has a lot to do with that too. So double could actually mean one and a half or it could mean two and a half over time so it's really really hard to tell right now again we're going to try and get one of these for review but it's not looking likely 
That's everything that ROG has to offer this year at Computex Taipei 2024. Well, at least what I thought was interesting. The funny thing is, some of these new OLED monitors that they announced just before Computex, we've already got them sitting at home ready for review. But you know how these things go. We just didn't have time to do absolutely everything. So make sure you subscribed and do all those things and let us know if you're enjoying our Computex coverage. But again, special thanks to Blackmagic Design, the purveyors of the best broadcast and cinema cameras on the market. Yeah, thanks for sponsoring our trip. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers, who's slightly losing his voice again. You peak, we seek and that Ally X, huh? Looking pretty interesting. Let's hope the battery life lives up to whatever everyone thinks it is. It's a bit heavier. See you later.